Rory Sabatini coming off a win. Can he make it back to back in an event that he won two years ago? Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com with a preview of this weekend's Crown Plaza Invitational at Colonial, an event you can see on CBS Saturday and Sunday beginning at 3 p.m. Eastern. Let's bring in CBS Sports golf analyst Peter Costas to uh, break this down. And uh, Peter, what was the most impressive thing to you about uh, Sabatini's performance this past weekend? Well, I mean, clearly it was his putter. Uh, uh, he putted lights out. I think he was number one in every putting category that they keep. Um, and, and that uh, that allowed him to shoot uh, a phenomenal four rounds of golf. Yeah, he was third in putting on, on tour this year, second this past weekend as a whole. Peter, when you look at uh, Sabatini in terms of the course at Colonial, it seems like it would fit him again. Well, I mean, obviously he's won there, so it, it must suit his eye. Uh, you wonder, you know, he lives in Dallas. You, you wonder how much of that is just the um, uh, opportunity to stay at home, sleep in your own bed, eat home-cooked food, and, and, and so on that, that makes him more comfortable and, and therefore allows him to play well, now having won uh, Colonial and, and Byron Nelson. So uh, he's definitely going to be a threat this week, um, provided he didn't celebrate too much on Sunday night. <laughs> uh, it's a great field uh, again this year. The Colonial always is. Uh, last year's winner, Phil Mickelson, Again, uh, obviously will not be there this weekend uh, with, uh, with his wife who is uh, suffering from breast cancer. But when you look at the field as a whole, maybe who stands out to you? you got a lot of top 10 players, a lot of top 20 players. Uh, who, who do you like in this weekend's field? Well, I mean, uh, it's going to be interesting because the golf course has been redone a little bit. Keith Foster came in and, and gave it a makeover. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting there and looking at the changes and seeing what's happened. So. Um, that, that's number one. I think the golf course is going to be uh, a star this week. Beyond that, uh, Paul Casey won uh, in London this past week, moved up to world number three in the rankings. Uh, obviously, Rory Sabatini that we just talked about won, uh, you know, 30 miles away at, at Byron Nelson. <clears throat> He's going to be a factor. But you've got a lot of guys now who are going to start to ramp up their game in preparation for the U.S. Open. And, and Colonial will mark the beginning of a stretch. There's a lot of guys that will play uh, Nelson, Colonial, Memorial, then take uh, a week off perhaps and, and, and plan to be at the U.S. Open. So um, I think you're going to see a lot of the top flight players right there on Saturday and Sunday with a chance to win because it's going to be the beginning of their, their buildup in both their golf game and their confidence going into uh, Beth Page. Hey, Peter, one other guy uh, th that's on that list of top flight players, the runner-up at this year's Masters and a guy who's won the Colonial twice, that's Kenny Perry. What about him and what, how he has played right now heading into this weekend's tournament? Well, I mean, he's playing, he's playing very nicely. Um, and, and with Kenny, the case has always been um, if he makes some putts. And he clearly feels comfortable on the greens at Colonial. Now, here's, here's, the, here's the rub. A lot of the veteran players who have been at Colonial um, have a big memory bank built up of, of how putts break. They may not be the same with the greens being redone and, and, and so on and so forth. So we'll have to see how, how well he reads the greens. And, but if he makes putts, I mean, he's going to be there in one of the last few groups on Sunday afternoon. Peter, one last thing here. Uh, one of our colleagues at CBS is, uh, well, he's back on PGA Tour. Uh, Ian Baker Finch is going to uh, participate in this weekend's uh, Colonial. Uh, it's his first event since the Colonial in 2001. Should we expect to see him on Sunday? Well, here's the deal. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go out. I'll stick my neck on the line. Uh, I've been working with Ian now in his golf game for the past year and a half or, or two years or so. This is his third year with us at CBS. And, and he's a much better ball striker. He's much more technically sound with his golf game. So I don't think his golf swing is going to be a, an issue this week. It's going to be a, a matter of how comfortable he feels in the arena. If he accepts the challenge, I think he can make the cut and, and, and play well. Um, you know, if, if, if he battles the demons from the past, then he may have issues and we won't see him on Saturday and Sunday. But I think his golf swing is going to hold up. I really do. Well, what could be fun, though, is to see if he can golf and do the broadcast Saturday and Sunday at the same time. That could be the fun uh, thing to see what, what happens. What, what will be fun is to see if he can handle the, the harassment that he's going to get from the rest <laughs> of the CBS announced crew should he make the cut. <laughs> All right, Peter Costas, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate it, and we look forward to uh, hearing you this weekend. All right, take care. All right, folks, and don't forget to watch all the action from this weekend's Crown Plaza Invitational at Colonial Saturday and Sunday beginning at 3 p.m. Eastern on CBS. The Texas Swing continues. Be sure to catch it all again only on America's Most Watched Network.
For Peter Costas, I'm Jason Horwitz. For more on the event, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Take care, folks.